everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today just to share with you these fabric ornaments that I created. I joined a swap in a great little group, and I'll put a link to that group below because she does do swaps often. And it was for uh, a Christmas in July swap for three ornaments, and I was very excited because Christmas is my favorite, so I'm about, yes, Christmas all year long, so I was very excited to join and make some Christmas ornaments, and I actually used some digital digitals from um, Shabby Art Boutique, and I will put a link to um, her blog below, too, and this is from her Christmas uh, printable set from last year. I love her printables. So I did uh, print some of those out on fabric, and um, I covered the back with some beautiful Tilda fabric. You know, Tilda is my favorite, and it's just gorgeous. So the top is actually a doily, and what I decided to do is I did not sew this actually together. It's two separate pieces. I had the backing that has felt on it, and then I zigzag stitched the felt to the back. And then I had the doily um, so that I could hand stitch everything on and then you wouldn't see the stitches on the back. I like to see the stitches. I think they're cool. But since I was gifting this out to someone, I thought, well, let me put a pretty backing to cover up all of my stitching. So that is what I did. And I used seam binding um, for the hanger. So I made like a little fabric patch actually, even though you can't really see the bits, but it's um, the image printed onto fabric and then cheesecloth behind that on top of a piece of muslin. And then I stitched it together on the sewing machine. And then I just put little snippets of lace all in the background. And then I put the little um, image on and then I just went crazy with buttons and bling and pearls and crystals and I even uh, sewed this beautiful piece of bling. I'm trying to figure out if it... <laughs> I don't know how to get it to focus. There it is. It's so cute. That is sewn on as well. Some of my little yo-yo flowers. Some buttons. I mean they're just adorable. So here is another one. I created the base the exact same way and just filled it with snippets all around. And I cut up one of um, this beautiful lace and just put pieces of, you know, the flowers everywhere. And then I added some crystal beads to the little Christmas tree graphic. And um, my mom, who is amazing, sent me some um, vintage bling pieces. Thanks, Mom. And so I used one on here and one on this one. And I did not sew those on. That's the only thing not sewed on is the, the two vintage blings. I glued um, those down. I cheated, but everything else I sewed. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. And so here is the other one I made with this shabby little stocking. Um, printable so cute and just snippets and buttons and pearls and flowers and just <laughs> so many cute things and another piece of that um, vintage pink bling that my mom sent how adorable so I love these and I think I want to make some more for my own tree they're so cute and I enjoyed the swap so much. So I'll put a link to the group below if you want to get in on some swaps. It's my friend Judy's group. So I'll have a link down there for that. And I would love to know um, what you think about these. So please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.